Okay, so now you have probably already seen the title. So this is about BB6 Visual Basic. Now we are not talking about Visual Studio, but the actual Visual Basic 6 that was released way back all the time. And now we are talking about really old software. BB6 is really old. Precisely, it is like something like um, latest release was 18 years ago. Now that is really long ago. So now, as you can already see probably, I am running Windows 10 and it happens to be the latest anniversary update. Okay, so now I have installed PB6 on Windows 10 and it works. But okay, so we have a couple of problems here. VB6 applications are useful for like small purposes these days, not for a lot enterprise purposes, but they are still good enough for small things. Okay, so the biggest problem of VB6 is it doesn't look really good. So I'm gonna open this project of VB6 right now. So there are only a couple of forms here. And if you had just installed VB6, you make a small project, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so now that is Windows 98 style that looks really old. It looks really shabby, not so good. And you can see here, it doesn't really look so great look at the progress bars I mean that is totally dated another problem of VB6 is that look at this if I maximize it's gonna go in the corner and not fill the entire space so it is not responsive so big screen small thing screens everything displays the same thing that is not cool a third problem of VB6 is if you adjust screen resolution it's gonna create big problems for you okay so I have 1366 by 768 right now if I make this 800 by 600 so right now I know you're gonna see something in the corner I'm seeing a full screen of course so this is gonna stay at the same size so it doesn't really occupy the same amount of space on the screen and look at that it's going out of the screen too so it doesn't really occupy the same size on the screen that is supposed to and it doesn't look good either so I'm gonna go back to the resolution now so what is do now vb6 is really great for small things but at the same time as you saw it doesn't look good so i do something i use something called as a manifest that is i i really source it from here i have linked it in the description below and now this is gonna theme your controls in vb6 now this is supposed to look like this in windows 7 and in windows xp but now this is windows 10 so let us see how it looks and boom it looks totally great it is themed the buttons look native and it works it looks really awesome See, look at the options and look at the progress bars here look at the colors and it it looks great look at this look at the buttons here and okay so now I talked about the other problems of not scaling up to the display size so now I have designed a small module which is basically built on this code but you know this code is not so great it compares the tab indexes with the other things and it basically takes a lot of memory and it's not efficient so I heavily modify it and I create another module that will basically do this great and this so and of course this is all optional like on one form you can have that it is not resizing and on the other form you can have that it is resizing so you can have responsive applications in pb6 with a good design now look at this this doesn't feel like it's made of pb6 it feels more like dotnet or something with the proper scaling too now this scaling it is also it relative like it's not gonna just make everything bigger but it's gonna make everything proportionately bigger so everything's gonna look, look right on any kind of screen so that's all fine so what about the resolution problem let us see the same script I modified a little bit more and you're gonna see the result soon so this is 800 by 600 and now look at this it's occupying exactly the amount of space that you want it to occupy full screen it's all well and again press this and it looks great okay that was not supposed to happen but look at this 
and these are the fonts of course now some of the fonts don't work really great with this like ms sans serif just look at that if you make this small it's gonna go tiny 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 with ms sans serif no it's gonna stay large so don't use ms sans serif that's all because these fonts don't really scale well to things you gotta use something like times new roman or tahoma or Arial or for some reason i have put ubuntu mono there okay and again the source for this is in the description you can use it as you like of course there are some license restrictions but everything is more or less open so you can use it as you want it of course giving proper credit now i decide to think how well can it look really now look at this there is a progress bar here but there is nothing going on here so normally when a progress bar is moving you have things moving right down there so i decide to find out a bit more of things and i stumble suddenly across this Okay, wait a sec. I forgot to reset the resolution. And there we go. So now, oh, by the way, if you again open this, it's back to its originality. Great. So I stumble across this. Now, this is something really awesome. Like, look at this. By Fafalon, this is a model shell integration for VB6. It has tons of interfaces and sample projects. You can have a look at it. So, I decide to try to integrate one of these in my project, precisely what I talked about. And here is the result. Look at this. This is made using VB6. This is Windows 10. It's working awesome. Look at this. And this. And I can even go like manually adjusting. Look at this slider and down there. So I can do whatever I like. And it's got tons of other things like notifications and whatever you want. Like uh, working with libraries, file operations, other taskbar features as well. Like showing buttons here that are interactive. Showing icons like overlays here. And other things too and I can also yeah I made just this small thing they can change the color of this again the source for this is available right down there in the description of course I can resize it as well and it is still responsive so that's it so basically what I want to convey here that VB6 is still a great language it and your application did not look like this and it, they can be really awesome. It's really great for small coders and other things, like for small applications. Not for large enterprises, maybe, but still, it is a good language. I mean, just compare these two. So, that's it, guys. You can make your VB projects look great, too. Just find all the links and the credits in the description. Keep in mind that I have not done much of this work. I have basically just modified some of the scripts and integrated a lot of things together to make it look good. Have fun.